Another big size fish. This actually feels like it might be the biggest one. They are stacked over there. All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today uh, I'm out here actually on a second creek. Uh, we started out this morning on a fir uh, different stream and uh, I actually was fishing with Gino today. You guys probably don't know who Gino is, but uh, if you go way back on like my original videos from like 2016 when I was spin fishing, Gino was part of the channel then. We kind of like started it together, um, but he actually hasn't been out and fly fished in like two years. So took him out this morning and uh, we got into some fish. So I'll, I'll show you guys that here now. He, he caught like a pretty nice brownie and uh, another one and then I caught about six fish and I think three of them were pretty nice fish. So yeah, it wasn't a bad morning, but uh, he's headed out at this point. So uh, I went, got some lunch and relocated here. Um, the stream that I'm on now, uh, it actually, when I was driving down the road, like along the creek, I, uh, I couldn't tell if it was Granums that I was driving through or uh, Blue Winged Olives, but there was like a huge uh, like swarm of them down the creek. And there's actually like a bunch of them up here as well. I, I see a few grams, you know, just fluttering around me here, but I mean, it's just the, I could just see there's swarms of them uh, over the creek. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it here. Hopefully the fishing's pretty good. I don't see any fish rising at the moment. If we're lucky, maybe we can uh, get into some rising fish, but we're gonna start out here nymphing until we, we run into some that are rising or whatever. So. Uh, that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show the first stream first and then we'll get to uh, the second creek here after that. Yeah, I was not expecting that. He's all wrapped up now. All right, guys, we just got into this first fish of the day. Well, actually second fish, that, but first fish that I landed, pretty nice brown. He's got real orange fins. And I couldn't tell what fly he was on. He was either on the stone fly or France fly. That's what I'm running right now. Nice chunky little fish. We'll get him back. There you go. All right, Gino's hooked up. You gonna net him or you want me to get him? What was that first wild brownie in two years? <laughs> All right, there is Gino's brown. First wild brownie in two years. All right, guys, we are hooked up here. Another nice fish. And he's on the France fly. Huh? Straight right there. I was yelling to say you can't get a. It's too deep. All right, guys. <clears throat> Just got into another pretty nice sized fish. This fish was also on the France fly. Nice spots on him. All right, there he goes. I couldn't tell like if it was big or not. Yo. Oh, really? Dude, this is a good sized fish too. <laughs> Dude, I literally, I don't know, I can't do anything else but let you fish it first. Now this one's on the stone fly. All right guys, another fish, another nice one. I like the spots on him. And he's got some nice little colors on him. And he was on the stone pheasant. Size 12. Yes, sir. Nice fish. All right, Gina is hooked up. Yeah, that's a better fish. Yeah. Right, right to you. You gotta lift his head. I can't, there's like a glare. I can't see anything. Right there. Right in front of you. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Lift him up. Yeah, baby. That's a nice one. On that uh, stone fly. Is it stone fly? Right in his upper lip. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Good size brown to 
turn around. All right, so Gino just got into uh, second fish of the day, a good size one. That's basically what he was coming here to get. He just wanted to get a nice brownie under his belt after it's been two, two years. years. So that was a good fish though. Yeah. Um, we're picking them up sort of sporadically. They're, I mean, all the fish we're catching though are actually pretty good size. I was catching some smaller ones earlier, but ever since then we've picked up some pretty good sized fish. That fish was on the stonefly. My, my last fish was also on the stonefly, but all the fish before that were on uh, the little size 18 France fly. So maybe they're turning onto that stone. We're just gonna continue up through here. All right guys, just got to the second creek here. About to make my first cast. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it on the camera, but there's just swarms of granums coming off. I know it doesn't look like it, but I promise you there is. I mean, there's just thousands of them swimming over the creek, especially on that side, it seems like. But anyway, I got a stonefly on and a little olive quill paragon on the tag. I'm just basically using what we left off at the other creek with. I'm just gonna see if these produce anything. And if not, we'll switch over. Might switch over to like a blowtorch or something since there's some caddis coming off. All right, you guys can probably see the granums in the air now. I am just kinda, I'm head hunting right now. I'm looking, I don't have my fly line on yet, my other reel, but I just wanna see where the fish are rising or where a few of them are first. I definitely saw at least like two or three fish rise when I was crossing, but I might actually just switch over, throw a granum on and just start, you know, drifting some down through there. See what I can get. All right, guys, we got the nymphs back on. I, uh, I tried casting some rising fish. None of them were having it though. So what I did is I threw a green hotspot waltz on, on the point. And then we got a, a size 16 blowtorch on the tag. That'll sort of act as like a emerging caddis. And I'm hoping we can nymph some of these risers up. They're splashy rises. Now I know caddis is usually a splashy rise, but I feel like they're still, like they're taking it before it gets on the surface. Cause I, I don't even see any caddis floating on the surface really. So I think that they're sort of taking the caddis right before they hit the, the water surface. So hopefully if we kind of like swing this uh, blowtorch and kind of maybe use it up in the upper water column some, that'll pick us up some fish. Switched out flies again. Kind of got like a little merger. I got that simple betis, but it's the brown one. Um, hoping that maybe that somehow looks like a caddis. And then on the bottom, on the point fly, kind of got like this brown looking nymph. It almost maybe looks like a case caddis slash nymph of some sort. So we shall see. There we go. Well, whatever it's on, it worked. <laughs> Feels like a good fish. I haven't actually seen him yet. All right, buddy, get up here. Well, he's on the point fly, so that, uh, that brown nymph worked. Get up here, buddy. Not a huge fish, but a good fish nevertheless. You guys can see there the brown nymph right in the upper lip. I'm gonna go ahead and get that off him and we'll get him back in. Nice fat chunky fish. Actually, you know what? He's got a fly stuck in his fin from someone else that broke it off. He's got some caddis stuck to him. So he's definitely a caddis here. <laughs> someone else was trying to cast to him. And he's got a nice fat belly full of caddis. That's a nice fish. Let's go ahead and get him back. So yeah, if you guys don't already know, uh, some of the people that are, you know, longtime watchers of the channel probably know, but I'm uh, very big on just like imitation flies, not like specific patterns. I don't really carry around like a lot of like straight up caddis flies. I tend to carry around 
you know, just flies that look like a lot of different things. So that's why I said like this fly, and it has like a tail on it, but it could look like a nymph. It could look like a little case caddis. Looks like a lot of different things. So that's like, I don't know, I'm big on that. Just kind of carrying flies that generally can cover, you know, anything that would be in the water. There's a hefty fish right here. I can feel, or I can hear when he rises, like he's got like girth to him. And I was just fishing there, so. I'm gonna try drifting my nymphs down there again. I'm gonna try maybe swinging them a little bit. There's a fish. That worked, a little swing action. Another good sized fish. That swing worked like a charm. I don't know if that's actually him though. That's uh, oh wow, okay. This could be a pretty good fish actually, if I don't fall in. But yeah, that uh, I don't know if that's him or not. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Could be him. He does not like the look of me. This one's got nice colors on him. All right guys, there's that fish. Nice chunky one. He doesn't like me. Nice big old granometer, huh? Technically, he didn't take the granum, but he took something that looked like a caddis. And there he goes. I'll tell you what, if I wouldn't have seen that other fish rise, I mean, that might have been him, but it was kind of up from where I saw that fish come up. But if I wouldn't have saw that, I would have never caught that fish because I already fished that spot, but I was moving up because nothing was taken, but seems like that little just a little you know pull upward just a tiny bit you know looks like that caddis is maybe just getting ready to pop off of the bottom of the stream and he took right there all right you guys saw that there's a fish rising right at the tail end of this uh boulder i'm gonna do a little drift past it I'm going to drift past it a few times, and there he- Oh, that was a good fish! That was a good fish! Dang it! I saw him, I saw him flash, it was like the same size as those other ones. Uh, and there was another take. Dang it! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Gotta focus here. Uh, I might have just had a fish rise behind me. I think I'm going to turn around and fish this run behind me again. Yep, there he is. <clears throat> I knew I heard something back there. Just a smaller guy, but not a bad size. There's the fish. First cast wasn't, oh, I missed him. Come on, first cast right in here. Wasn't even paying attention. It's kind of just like <laughs> throw my nymphs in there just to kind of turn around. And we had a fish on. It actually felt like a pretty decent fish. All right, this right here looks like the perfect little spot for some caddis sippers. I haven't seen any rise in there. But there's got to be some fish holding over there. There we go. Tiny guy. But nevertheless, it's a fish. Uh, he actually took the tag, which is like the little simple betis look-alike that's just brown instead of olive. And right before that fish took, 
I saw another small fish rise up here to our left. Let me see if I can get a cast up in there to him. I'm not gonna walk all the way up there because I wanna still fish this. So I'm gonna fish this across to, to get to this part. I'm gonna tuck a cast up in there. Aha, I, I saw one in, in the act. There's one rising literally right in front of me here. Boom, there he is. <clears throat> so basically, it seems like the name of today's game on this stream is if you can find the fish, you can catch the fish. <clears throat> and this one actually took the uh, that little simple betis, uh, like the brown simple betis, which is interesting. All these fish are just super fat. Look at that belly. They're all gorging themselves on all this caddis. <clears throat> There's another fish. Dang it. They must be there. I bet you they're taking that little 18 simple betas because they, they're just popping off way too easy. There's nothing I can do though, because if they're taking it, I got to keep it on. All right. So we're getting back over to that juicy spot and we'll see if we can pick off that fish that was rising over here. I don't think it was too big, but maybe there's a bigger fish over here hiding. There we go. Now I think that is a bigger fish. Definitely not the one I saw rising. <clears throat> wow, he was actually on the uh, on the simple betas imitation again. All right, guys, there's that fish. Another nice fish, probably 16, 17 incher. Well, so far, this is definitely turning out to be one heck of a day. Started off super slow this morning with me and Gino. I was honestly thinking it was just gonna be a terrible day. Then we started getting into some nice sized fish and uh, then he headed out and so I relocated and we're getting into some nice sized fish here too. And there's another one. Oh, that second cast back in. First cast, another nice fish. He is not happy. Ah, he popped off. That's my fault. I should have chased him down. I just didn't feel like running downstream. Oh, well. That's another nice fish, though. Another one. Oh, my goodness. They are stacked over there. All right, this one, we're gonna get him up here a little bit faster. I'm gonna chase after him a little bit. It's not the size of the one we just lost, but he is on that brown simple betis. Tell you what, that is uh, it's turning out to be the hot fly. This fish has just got a super fat belly. 
got like a green little tint to him. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can pull another one from over there. I would, I don't know. Three pretty good sized fish from over there. I think we're starting to get, get to the end of our luck over there. I'd be pretty surprised if we hook into another decent sized fish over here. I feel like if we do get another one, it's gonna be smaller. Nope, another good sized fish. This actually feels like it might be the biggest one. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I lost my pressure on him. He's running way down there. No, 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 no. That's bad. I started to pull my net out. That was a dumb mistake. I was like, you know what? I got him pretty close in. I'm just going to pull my net out. But... That did not work out how I wanted it to. All right, come here, buddy. I tell you what, that is just unreal, though. They are stacked over in there. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Oh no 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 no! Oh yeah, this is this is probably the biggest fish of today. If not the biggest, definitely the prettiest. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he does not like me. He does not like me. Lift that head. No. Oh, my arm hurts so bad. Come here. Oh, I guess this is a good fish. Let's go. All right, here's that big fish we just landed. Nice chunky fish. Uh, I'd say that's definitely, he has to be about at least 18, if not 19. Take a look at his adipose. Nice red adipose on him. All right, we're gonna get a release on this big guy. He's ready to go. Tell you what, this is just, I, I need to like honestly take like a breather. This is just unreal. This is like, so crazy and uh i forgot to mention that fish was also on the brown simple betas i'm gonna do a tying video of that but i've told you guys before it's it's literally just the simple betas but tied with like tan for the shuck and the wing and like a rusty brown body that's literally it oh and and the the bead is a copper bead instead of the uh black nickel i'm gonna fish this on my way back over there i, I honestly cannot believe we've caught that many good fish out of that one, uh, literally within 10 feet of each other. All sitting in the same seam within 10 feet of each other. I haven't even worked 100 yards since we got to the second stream. It just looks like an emerger nymph. And I picked the rusty brown because I thought maybe it would look like a caddis. Uh, this is insane. I honestly, we're back at that spot. I just hooked another big fish. I honestly don't know what to do. That is that is the most insane thing I've ever experienced fly fishing right there. That many fish of that size out of one run. There's just like no way. And, th and this feels like a really good fish again. Yep, another nice one. Come here, come here. Another nice fat fish. Nice red to him. Get him back in. Um, he was on the uh, on the simple betas variation. I was gonna say we're done over there, but I mean I thought we were done three fish ago.
Oh, there's a fish. I was lifting my rod. Feels like a good fish, actually. <clears throat> hey, he's not a bad one. <clears throat> eh, actually, he's a little tinier than I thought, but fish is a fish. We will take anything. Nice little fish. There's a fish. <clears throat> fish just jumped up above me too. <clears throat> Once we get this one in, I'm gonna cast right above me. And yes, you already know what this fish was on. So I'm not even gonna say it. <clears throat> Another nice chunky fish. Another fish just rose right there. I'm kind of standing like right in the middle of where they all are. I'm gonna try for this one up here now. There's a fish. Uh, okay, this is a big fish. I don't want him going down this riffle. So he needs to come to my net right now. already downstream of them so that's good get over here yes uh not as big as i thought but still a really good fish ow, 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 ow. dang it you guys could see that he flopped out had a hook in my finger and everything Actually, you know what, now, now that I think about it, that could have been that fish that I saw rise up here. But, there's another fish regardless. Wow. If this continues all the way up until I leave, this is going to be definitely like one of the most insane days ever. Not even, I mean, sort of number-wise, but just the size of these fish. I mean, they're not all giants, but it's like I ain't even catching small fish. Oop, there he goes. Another nice brownie. That one fish that I hooked, though, he swam over here. I don't know. He probably spooked this fish that was sitting over here. So I don't know if we're going to actually catch him or not. Well, he just took. He just took and I missed him. This is just like super aggressive feeding. This is literally what we wait all year for. April, May, a little bit of June too. I mean, it's just insane. There's another good fish. I believe it's a good fish. Oh, pretty decent size. Oh, popped off. All right, well, the GoPro just messed up, so I don't know where it left off. It couldn't have left off too long ago. But anyway, we're across in the second run now. There's a bunch of decent-sized fish, it looks like. They're rising over there in that swirling water, right in that foam. What I'm just doing is throwing my nymphs over there and kind of dragging them, just making them drift super slowly. And we just got one fish there, but I didn't get him on the camera. Just like that. He, uh, it even, it literally was probably two inches down the water column and he took it. And that's what I mean. If they're up towards the top like that, sipping flies, usually if your nymphs just fall right down in there, they'll take. And it looks like this is a pretty good fish. Can't tell yet. Hey, he's all right. <clears throat> Another fat little brownie. <clears throat> um, he actually 
the past few fish actually have been on the point fly, which is that little brown nymph. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cast over in there, let it just, just kind of drag it downstream. You know they're over there feeding. So I just kind of cast it in there and hope that they think it's a bug. The caddis have started to pour off again. And this huge fish just like rose right, right behind me here. I think he may have just struck at my fly. I'm gonna try the trick that we did earlier. I'm gonna start to rise it like right where he was. There he is. It worked. I don't know if that's the fish that I heard, but started to rise it and he took it. And what I mean by like rise it is just once it starts getting like where you think the fish is eaten, just start pulling your nymph up off the bottom. Just lift your rod tip some. Come here, buddy. <clears throat> Another nice little brownie. Okay, so I stopped, took a little break just to kind of regroup and, uh, well, first cast. But um, I was just gonna say, this is gonna be our last run and then we're probably gonna call it a day because this will probably take me a good 45 minutes to get through and by that time, it'll be about probably 6, 6.30. There's that fish. Right on the swing. Didn't even, I felt my line go tight. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty decent fish. Yeah, he's not liking me though. That's for sure. <clears throat> nice fish. That might be our ender. I'm gonna finish doing some drifts over there and then we're gonna probably head out. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up our day here on the stream. I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, it's just been an unreal day. Tons of cat is pouring off. Fish are just gorging themselves. They all have fat bellies. I don't know how many fish we caught out of that one little seam until I go back and edit the video, but it was somewhere around five or six and they were all good size. I would say two of them were probably 16, 17 and that one was definitely 18, 19. That's just like unreal. So, and then just tons of fish rising and uh, making splashy little rises and you know, I'm, I was just nymphing them up. Uh, I couldn't get any on top. I tried getting them on top when I first got there. It just didn't seem like they were full, you know, they weren't really eating flies off the top. They were kind of just like eating them right as they were getting to the top. So that's why I kind of threw on that little emerger and that literally just killed it. And then also that point fly, that picked up quite a few fish as well. Uh, it just looks like a, maybe like a little cased caddis or something. But yeah, I mean, just unreal day. I mean, these are the days where summer or winter rolls around and you're just like you're thinking of days like this you can't wait until spring <laughs> comes around just so you can just cast and just fish that are eating dumb i mean they're just dumb at that point like they're eating whatever they're just so they're frenzied basically but yeah thanks for tuning back in that's going to do it for this video don't forget to leave a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this in the future and leave a comment below let me know what you thought of this video and leave any suggestions for future videos and until next time peace <laughs>